Table views are designed to show a list of information. While you can think of them as traditional tables, table views do not have columns. Well, actually everything is presented in a single column, but you can have multiple rows of data. Data itself is presented in a table view cell. Cells are just individual views that you can customize by adding additional controls or using some of the pre-built styles. You'll learn more about table view cells later in this course. Now, every table view must have a table view cell. After all, without table view cells, there would be no way to present data. Now, there are two ways for you to use table views. First, you can manually add a table view control to any of your, any of your screens. Alternatively, if you need to display just a table view to the end user and no other controls on that screen, you can use a table view controller. A table view controller is just a regular view controller, except it's been, de it's designed specifically to work with tables. It handles a lot of the grunt work for you. For example, when you create a new table view controller, a cell is automatically added to it, whereas when you're working with a regular table view, you would have to add the cell yourself. You'll become acquainted with these differences as you work through the course. To get started with building our checklist app, I have Xcode open and we need to create a new project. So I'm going to bring my mouse cursor down here to this button that says create a new Xcode project and I'm just going to click that. Now you can see we have these various app templates. For instance, if you want to create a game or an augmented reality app, you could click one of these and it will do some setup for you. But for this course, what we'll be doing is just simply using a single view app. And I'll click this next button here. And for the name, you can just call it checklists or checklist like so. You could ignore the team and the organization name as well. The organization identifier is just your unique string. In this case, it's based off of a domain, so com.raywinderlich, and it uses, Xcode uses this organization identifier to build out your bundle identifier. And this just makes sure that your app is unique. So you want to choose a unique identifier here. Now for the language, you can just keep it on Swift and these will all be le left unchecked and we'll click next and then we will save this just save this anywhere i'm going to save this on my desktop okay once the app opens i have my project ready selected and ready to go and you can see my target is selected as well and this is a good place to start configuring it i'm going to scroll down here and you'll see under deployment info we have device orientation now i want the checklist app to only work in portrait mode meaning when the user shifts their phone to say a landscape orientation i don't want the view controllers to adapt to that so what i'll do is just simply uncheck landscape left and landscape right okay the next thing to do is to select this view controller in the project navigator this view controller is where we're going to be writing a lot of code and I want this to be a checklist view controller instead of a generic view controller. This view controller file is what's given in the single view app. Now to do this, I can just single click this here and just type checklist like so. So now it becomes checklist view controller. Now in a later video in this course, I'll show you another way to do this that is both time saving and efficient. But for now, we'll just start off by doing this. Now by having our file name be checklist view controller .swift, I want to change the class name to reflect this as well. So I will call this here checklist view controller. Now I want this view controller to be a type of table view controller because as we add out our to do a list items, I want to present them on a table versus a single view controller, which we can add controls and so forth. So the way we can change that is we can select this UI view controller here and just simply type UI table view controller. Okay. It's coming along nicely now. Now let's update our user interface. And to do that, I'm going to click the main dot storyboard file here. This opens up and you can see we have this generic view controller all ready to be customized. Now we want this to be a table view controller. So we can just simply select this, then hold down command and then delete. And that's gone for good. Okay. Now let's add our table view controller and I'll open up the object library here and simply type table. And you can see all the various table objects that are available to us. Select the table view controller and just simply drag it out onto your storyboard like so. And voila, you have a table view controller, but also you have a few other things as well. You can see this warning here, this warning icon. I can select this and you can see we have two issues. One, we have 
prototype cells must have a, reu a reuse identifier, and the table view controller is unreachable because it has no entry point. Now, in the next video, we'll resolve this first warning, but for now, we'll just focus on this one right here. What this is saying is that when the user launches the app, it has no way to reach this view controller. In fact, it has no way to reach any view controller. Let's see this in action. I'm gonna select the iPhone 10 here and just start it up now. So what I'm gonna do is just make some room here and you'll see our app is now running and we're getting kind of a black screen. So what's happening here is when we launch the app, nothing is being displayed. That's because our app is not indicating which view controller to show first. So let's come back to Xcode over here and let's move this over here. And I'm gonna select my table view controller and then I'm going to select the attributes inspector. And this is the fourth tab right here. So you can just select that. And you can see down here, we have this view controller section and you'll see we have a property called is initial view controller. So what you wanna do is check that checkbox and you'll notice right away we get an arrow and this indicates the entry point of the app. Now let's give our app a simple build and run. And you can see we have a table right here. We have no cells on it, but we'll take care of that in a little bit. Okay, let's stop this from running now. We just have one last thing to do. With our table view controller selected, I'm gonna open up the identity inspector, and this is the third tab here. And I wanna assign our checklist view controller class to this table view controller object. So I can just simply select this dropdown and you can see it's right here. And bam, we're ready to go.